<laughs> ha! Hello, hello, everyone! And welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are y'all doing? Yeah? Doing good? Today is the very first VTuber stream that I'm doing. Hurrah! Yay! Today, we're going to be playing a uh, game that a streamer that I watch says is like her favorite game. So I was curious. I figured I would uh, check it out. How's it going, Not a Cat Monster? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a great day. But uh, I figure since I've been on an older game kick recently, I would uh, pick this game up and see if it uh, is as good as she says it is. Uh, apparently, she says that you can't get through it without crying, but we'll see how that goes. So, anyway, we're going to be playing a game called Rhapsody, a uh, musical adventure. And we're going to see uh, how that rocks and rolls. How's it going, Shadow Kong? Welcome, welcome. All right. Well, I figure we'll go ahead and get the game started here. Let's jump right on into things, huh? How about that? Okay. So... I think I have everything set up right, but with it being like an emulator, it might be a little sketch, like uh, like we experienced with the uh, the, the time splitters streams. So we'll uh, we'll see how all that shakes out, right? Okay. Um, so let's just switch over to here, and then grab this open. Go here, 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 and here. Let's begin. So I think I have the volume pretty well leveled out and stuff. So if something does seem a little bit off, or if I'm not loud enough or too quiet or yada yada, let me know so I can uh, adjust stuff before we get too far into the gimme gam. So this is a, a PlayStation 1 era game. So it is quite, quite old. Yeah, this came out in 2000, I think. So... Fine. All right, let's just jump right in. Difficulty, we'll go with easy or normal. English, record music, we'll go we'll lower the, the, the volume here a little bit, I think. Immigration, of course, off, because I, I have no vibration on. And then, confirm. All right. Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Oh, no. I'm fine. Fine. Thank you. He's the man. The man that I dreamt of. My ideal prince. I finally found him. Oh, my... my prince. Hey! Stop it! Smooch. I said quit it! Oh, my prince. My dear prince. I'll never let you go. That's it. Wake up, Cornette! Ouch! Hey, what's the big deal? Good morning, Cornette. Are you awake now? Yes, I'm up. You ruined a perfectly good dream. What? A dream about a prince again? Don't you ever get bored of that? What's wrong with that? Someday? Yes, someday, the prince, just like the one I see in my dreams, will... Get real. Anyway, hurry up and get dressed. Grandpa was calling you? All right already. Don't get your pantyhose in a bunch.
Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Am I moving? I am. Hello. All right. Can I interact with anything? Looks like B opens up that. I will save. Okay. And then triangle goes back on the old PlayStation, right? Okay. I'm trying to see if there's an interact button or not. Doesn't seem like there is. Okay. Well, let's continue on through. Cornet, I found this puppet in the mailbox. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. So, you must be the girl who plays the horn and makes friends with puppets. My name's... Charte? I'm looking for my sister, Tara. She disappeared after saying she wanted to become a human being. Will you play your horn and let me join your party? I think I can find my sister if I travel with you. Please, Cornette? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Cornette. Charte has joined your party. Are you taking that puppet with you? You sure love your puppets. Will you do me a favor? The fire in the fireplace is getting weak. Would you go to the forest and bring me back some red in inotium? Not wood? Okay. Thank you, Cornette. Oh, don't forget to equip an accessory before you wander into the woods. D do I have an accessory? Where's the fireplace at, by the way? Well, that's... No, it must be this way then. Hold on. Is that another puppet? Your grandfather takes very good care of me. I want to thank him, but I can't. The average human can't hear our voices. Oh. So Kurnet's just like... special and can hear the voices of puppets? That's... kind of strange. Right? Like, inanimate objects actually have a voice, but, like, no one can hear them. That's actually kind of scary. Anything in the mailbox? Let me introduce myself. My name is Colin, and I live by myself in Blue Cat. I like to read and study ancient civilizations. I'm also a wonderful cook. Please come visit me anytime. Colin. Okay. Cornette looks into the well. Cornette sees the reflection of her sleepy face in the water, and boy, is it scary. Hey, Cornette, how are you doing? Are you going to the Wonderwoods again? Watch out for those toads. I know you can't stand them. I can't find a toad. I wanted to give it to you, Cornette. Koro! Koro! Where did Koro go? I'm so worried. Okay, do I have an accessory on Let's see. Equip. Cornet. Let's see. Cat's paw, which gives me offensive higher and defensive higher. Okay. What about Charte? Hmm. She has 10 defense. What is Cornet's defense? 11? Let's, let's buff Cornet. Go all in right now on her, on her for right now. Can I talk to fairy behind me? No. I guess it's a puppet, not a fairy, but it's a fairy puppet, right? I'm sure your parents have been happy to see you all grown up. Anyone here? I can. Hello. Alfred used to be a very quiet child, but after he got Koro, that all changed. We were so happy to see him and so full of life. 
Alfred was so worried that Kara would run away from him. M Miss, can I? Oh, I found 28 plutonium. Oh, do I have to go to the Wonderwoods now? I just kind of found, found it there, huh? Hey, puppet. I'm envious of people and even dogs. I would like to run around like them. That's real, real fucked up. Yeah, if you think about it, if they can talk and if they're sentient beings and they're just like not able to move or do anything without people. Mother Green is the center of the fashion world. It's really classy, unlike some. Wow, I under, wow. <laughs> that's, that's great. The, the streamer who mentioned this game and this is the reason I'm playing it. She has a D and D world, and Mother Green is her like central city. I, I get where that comes from now. Oh, I really want to move to Mother Green. I've got to save more. Okay. And then you miss. Antonium is the source of our energy. It's very important to us. Antonium is used as our currency in this kingdom. Ooh, goddamn. Ha! <laughs> That's a lot. How do you talk to the puppets? I've tried talking to that puppet over there, but it doesn't answer me. It's really starting to bug me. My husband talks to the puppets every day. I think he's going crazy. Grandpa tries talking to me all the time, but I can't answer him. I'm jealous of Kuroru. She's a puppet, but she can talk with people. Any more loot in here, man? There's a lot of oranges. Oh. That's a weird thing to point out, I guess. Unless I can use them for something later. Is this like a quest board? Miss Merrill's contest. Who will be the winner this time? Oh, don't tell me what it is. This is Melody Square. Hey, Cornette. Why don't you play your horn here? Sure. Way to go, girl. Oh? Oh, did that do something? Oh. Acquired 15 Atonium as a tip. Oh, cool. Now everyone go back to business. Please? Okay, I can get out. I don't think I've talked to this lady yet. Your grandfather's a genius at fixing puppets. We thought our son's puppet was ready for the garbage, but he fixed it no problem. Ah, huh, cool. Why does this town have a bunch of puppets? Are puppets just a common thing in this world? Is that uh, what this is? My son spends Antonium like it grows on trees. You better start saving it. Wait, is Antonium the currency as well as the energy source? Hey, I heard that you like to spend Antonium. Do you have some to spare? I can't believe how stingy my mom is with Antonium. I asked her to give me a pretty 5,000 Antonium to go on vacation in Mother Green, and she just flat out said no. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wow, how, how rude of her to not give you 5,000 Antonium, of which I found, like, maybe 200 so far. <laughs> just from looting people's random houses. What's this say? Just reopened. Oh, is it a shop? Looks like a shop. Where are you going? You don't want to go in the woods. There's a witch in there. I thought she was just a kid at first, but she summoned a giant dragon and told me to give her all the Antonium I had or else. Sounds like a mugger, to be honest. I am a monster master. I can store your monsters. Can I help you with anything? Sure. I just have shark tank. Does this say any information about her, like... Oh, she's a holy puppet. Okay. Maybe she's a healer? We'll see. Hey, sir. Welcome. 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 Healing candy. Meta candy. Wake candy. Antidote. Uh, heal cocoa. Restores M MP? Okay. Teleport. Teleport you to the world map. Cat's paw offense. Okay. Well, I only got 300, so we're not going to buy anything right now. We're also still kind of in a tutorial, so no point in doing that. Am I going north or south here? Let's go south first, I guess. 
Oh. Orange Village. And then Wonderwoods. Okay, so before we go south, I, I want to explore that the, 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 the more east corner here. Does it just take me to the map too? No, it's a church. Oh. Hello, pup. Oof. Good boy. There's a lot of old people in this town. My husband died fighting in the mi mi minstrel wars about 16 years ago. Oh. It's a weird thing to just randomly tell people. I fought alongside your father in the minstrel wars 16 years ago. He fought with passion that you seldom see nowadays. Okay. When you get tired, talk to the goddess statue. It has the power to heal you. Cornette and her party receive blessings from the goddess statue. HP and MP recovered. Nice. Okay. Now we can leave town, I guess. Nothing really else to do here at the moment. Is there a run button? Just make sure. Nope, that's that, that button. Okay, there's not. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't unaware of a mechanic. Okay. Hello, sir. I heard that your allies will fight automatically when you press the O button. Okay. I don't know what an O button is, sir. Wow, what a great view today. What a great day. I know what you're thinking. You wish you could take a walk with the prince. Am I right? Admit it. Ah, uh, I went through the same phase. A long time ago. Huh? Why are you looking at me like I have a third arm? I have some expertise in love too. My age or being a puppet doesn't matter. Love is love. Ribbit, ribbit. Hey, Cornette, you hear something? What the? You, toads. Wait, did her eyes just like bug out on her head there? Okay. So, we can move. We can attack, which looks like I have to be in close range to attack. Okay. Or horn, which, does it buff or something? So uh, let's move up a couple spaces. And I'll use my horn. And power up. Okay. And turn. Hmm. So she can only do that. She has magic, which is saint inflicts damage holy. Huh? Two spaces. Okay. Move. So if we go here, I can cast magic. And hit this boy. Oh, easy. Ha, <laughs> way to miss. She just toots her horn at him. That's great. I should be able to move here. Can I do like a normal attack? I don't think I want to waste all my MP on them. They only have 24 health. There we go. Yeah, XP acquired. 32. Antonium, 40. Cornette is now level 2. Shorte is level 2 and learned heal. Excellent! So she's gonna be my healer. Nice, nice. How horrible. If you hate them that much, why didn't you just run away from them? Duh. You can be so stupid sometimes, Cornette. Well, I can't help it. I was born that way. Cornette, can I ask you a favor? Uh, again? What is it this time? Let's have our lunch now. I'm starving. Not yet. Not until we find some Eno. <laughs> See? You sound hungry too. Don't you know that hungry soldiers can't fight? So, let's eat. <laughs> We're not soldiers though. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, let's eat. Yeah, it's about time. 
Are you just gonna eat in the middle of that path, or? Oh, it almost done. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm so full. Happy, happy. Cornette, would you sing my favorite song? Sure. Sure. pretty good. Kuduru. Do you think my mom and dad are always watching me from somewhere? Of course. They're always watching over you to make sure you're happy. Well, enough of this. Let's get going now, and we'll have to find some antonium. Onward we go. That, that, was, that was pretty good, I'll be honest. Okay. West. Forest, Natalie River, South, Cave in the Woods. Mm, a cave, you say? I think we're just supposed to be finding some Antonium, so for right now. What does it look like, by the way? I've just been finding it in pots, so I haven't really been seeing it as an object. Uh oh. So is this a random encounter kind of game? All right, well, I can't get too close to hit him with this, so we'll do this, buff her. Same game plan as last time, pretty much. Boop, boop. And not attack. Magic. Synced. Easy. He'll come up, try to hit Cornette. Cornette will now attack. Hey, damn, that was nice. Required more. Aw, oh, we didn't level up to three? That's a shame. Oh, I went around in a circle. No, no, I didn't. It just looks kind of similar. Right, south is the Natalie River. West is the forest. Okay. What's this say? Anything? This is the Natalie River. You'll be sorry if you fall in. Okay, let's not fall in. Okay, let's move 
Oh, I can actually move up and actually take it. Hit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack! I don't think I can get close enough to hit him here. Maybe I move here? Nope. Well, she will just wait then. Corn, I should be able to finish this. Let's go! So does Kururu not help us attack? That's a shame. Anything here? Looks like no. Can I actually go like in the river though? Nope. Okay. I guess we're gonna go find this witch and beat her up or something then, huh? Cornette! I found some red atonium. Here. Great. But something's not right. We usually find a lot more than this. It's like someone came over and picked this place clean. That antonium that you guys have there. Give it to me. Yeah. Give it to her now. Antonium is for... Uh, Mad... Mar Marjorie and Marjorie only. So if you better give it to me now, if you know what's good for you. If you don't. Yeah, if you don't. I'm gonna beat you up. Yeah, beat you up. The meow says. The meow says. Will you shut up already? I can't take you guys anywhere. Who are these morons anyway? Who cares? Don't pay them any attention. Let's just get going before the stupidity rubs off on us. Sounds good to me. And just where do you think you're going? Are you trying to ignore me? Hey, Kururu, did you hear something? <laughs> hey! I'm talking to you here. Give up your Antonium or else. Why? I've explained all that already. Were you not listening to anything I was saying? Punishment meow, punishment meow. Say, that's the smartest thing I've heard you say all day. Why don't you guys give them some punishment? Who? Us? Meow? Yes! I don't feel like it, Meow. Move it or lose it. Alright. Advance two squares. Buff with the horn. Turn. Move. Two squares forward. Cast. Saint on this cat right here. Easy. Ah, these poor cat boy things. Let's see. Attack. And done. And attack. Oh, that one survived. But... Is this like tutorial level stuff? Because I don't think I've gotten hit once by like damage. Level four. Oh damn, we just skipped right past three and hit four, didn't we? Unless I leveled up the river. I, I forget, actually. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Miss meow, miss meow. They beat us up. No, duh. You guys are pretty good, I should say. Well, I guess I should start taking you seriously, meow. Hocus, pocus. Hooba, juba, upa, ya. Yeah. I command you to come to me, meow. My super de duper dragon. Oh, that's actually, I was expecting something a lot smaller and like less menacing, but 
Hey, don't go to sleep, you idiot. <laughs> you can, like, surrender at any time, you know. <laughs> what? what the heck is a dragon doing in a place like this? Got me. Come on. Give me all your Antonium. Or else. Meow. No way. If you think that I'm going to fork over my Antonium, you've got another thing coming. Right, Kururu? Here, you can have it. What? What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? You're a good girl. I like you, little one. Meow, meow. Hey, Kururu, you lousy traitor. We've got to give it to her. Otherwise, we'll end up as dragon food. Yeah, but... You're not thinking about fighting with that dragon, are you? Why not? He doesn't look so tough to me. Well, you're going in alone on this one, psycho. You're nuts if you think you can beat that dragon. Real courage is facing adversity, even if you know you can't win. That's not courage, Cornette. That's more like suicide. You know that when you die, the game's over, right? You'll have to watch the scene over again. But if by some miracle you manage to come out on the other side alive, then maybe, maybe your dreams will come true someday. But at this specific point in time, I highly doubt. <laughs> Remember me? I'm the person with the hungry dragon? Give me your Antonium already. Ah! Watch out, Cornette. <gasps> the prince. Who the heck are you? Who are you, Meow? Who are you? My name is not important. Leave here immediately. Otherwise. Otherwise? I will slay you! Meow! I think he means business. Hey, wait a minute. That crest on your sword belongs to... the royal family. Miss Meow, let's get out of here. You won't get away with this hero boy. Just wait until Measurely finds out about this. Are you alright? Are you hurt? My name is Ferdinand. What's your name? Poor girl. She's too frightened to even speak. Prince Ferdinand. Prince Ferdinand. Somebody must have found out that I'm missing from the castle. Excuse me, fair ladies, but you must I must take my leave of you. Journey home safely. The that was the famous Prince Ferdinand? Intelligent, kind, handsome, daring, and even a great swordsman to boot. He's everything a woman could possibly ask for. <sighs> hey, Cornette, you okay? Jeez, it's like you've never seen a prince before. Hey, Earth to Cornette. Cornette! Oh, no. Ah. <sighs> Ah. Ah. Enough already! What's the matter with you? Is that all you can do? Sigh? But I can't help it. Hey, you found the prince that you've been looking for, didn't you? Why can't you be happy instead of sighing like that? I know, but... I see. You're bummed because you didn't get to tell him your name. I didn't realize that he was the real prince. Come on, enough of that. Just make a move on him. It's easy for you to say. I don't even know if I'll have a chance to see him again. Come on, girl. Don't I always tell you? Take the initiative. 
hey, if all else fails, just show them a little leg. Guys can't resist a little leg. Well, but... All right, then. Just do what I say, okay? Got it? First, we have to find out more about the prince. We should ask the folks over in Orange and Mother Green about him. Yo, Grandpa! Do I have enough Antonium for you? Oh, you've brought me some red Antonium. Thank you, Cornet. If you ever have problems with your puppets, come back and see me. They can be fixed with the Antonium. Of course they can. Apparently, it does everything, huh? When a puppet is satisfied with his life, he will go to heaven. Wait, wait, what was that? I think I missed something important there. Puppets have different fates and destinies, just like humans. When a puppet is satisfied with its life, it goes to heaven. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, let's save. Okay. Anything new in the mailbox? <clears throat> brave soldiers wanted. We are in need of brave soldiers for the border. Let's guard Marl's kingdom together. Uh, Monarchial Troop PR Division. You were attacked by the witch in the Wonderwoods? What? You were rescued by Prince Ferdinand? I'm jealous, but I admit that he's good looking. I'll be the prince's bride when I grow up. Just you wait and see. Looks like Cornette has a rival. We have peace in this country because of Queen Sigrid and the prince. Okay. I've been saving Antonium, becoming a, and I'm becoming a mother green girl. The prince will turn 18 soon, and once he finds a bride, he'll become king. Hi, Cornette. Are you okay? You were going crazy about itchy back stuff. Itchy back stuff? Got anything new to sell, sir? Nope. Don't think I should buy anything right now. Any act with any of these? We babysit your monsters. Monster Man of Orange. All right. This way. Actually. Do I have... Yep, I have max HP and mana. I was going to go to the church if I didn't, so... Orange Village. Or Mother Green. of nature and culture. That's what Mother Green is all about. Don't mind me, just gonna... Wow, there's a lot of books in here. Just gonna rifle through your house here. Don't mind me. I'm gonna sell my house and move to the countryside. April and I can stand the rat race. Hmm. Ooh. No free money. What about this barrel? Anything? Nope. This barrel? Nope. Nope. This crate? Nope. Okay. How about this house? Your lady. My husband, the captain of a ship that sails to Blue Cat. I miss him when he's away, but I'm proud of him being the captain of a ship. But my mother wants me to marry a person with a steady income. I'm so sick of her telling me what to do. Be yourself then, girl. You found 65 Antonium. Nice. Free money. All right. How about you, sir? Mother Green, what a great city. Actually, for a country bumpkin like me, anything is pretty impressive. Fair. Girls everywhere here talk about Prince Ferdinand. The prince will be 18 soon, and it's high time he find himself a bride. Everyone knows that it's... Uh, he totally is going to win the contest. But you can't blame anyone for trying. The prince is everything a girl could want. 
Where's my mommy? I don't know. So maybe you should find her. Golonzo is the worst minister ever. He says that he ended the Ministry of Wars 18 years ago, but I seriously doubt that. You're an outsider, right? Yeah. At the very least, you're going to have to dress a little nicer, too. Especially if you're here for the prince. Fair. The ruins that I see today were once used by ancient people. Doesn't it excite you to we might be exploring something used by the ancients? I'm a monster collector. Will you sell me one? No, I don't have a monster. If you find a rare monster, sell it to me. Okay, sir. All right, shopkeep, do you have anything new or interesting? A genius cap. Plus 20 to intelligence. Hmm. That's a lot of money, though. Oh, God, that's a lot of money. Well, well. Well, 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 well. Um, I think I'm going to leave town. Because I just remembered. What's this? Ancient forest. A suspension bridge. Huh. I forgot in the Wonder Woods there was a, uh, <clears throat> uh, forest cave path that we did not go down. So we might want to do that and see if there's any good loot down there. So this should be the cave path. And it splits into two, huh? Let's go right first. Oh, is this a free puppet? What? What was that? Look like a sleeping bunny fairy thing, right? Huh. Beware of monsters. There. But what if we don't beware of monsters? And what if I save before going into this cave? Just in case there are monsters here. <laughs> Steadily moving up in the Antonium world, though. Getting a lot of money. Here? Hey, treasure chest. You found illustration one. Nice. Good thing I came back here, huh? Okay, let's take this path now. You kind of stick along the right wall and you'll always find your way out. This just loops back up. Yep, okay. Noted, noted. Let's take you back here. And south is where we need to go. Draw that mental map, you know. And we got a healing candy. Oh, nice. Are there no monsters in this game? Wait, did I just run? Oh my god. There's actually a run button. You hold triangle. Oh, now there's a monster. Okay, Cornette moved two up. Use your horn. Thank God that failed because I did not want to escape. All right, move. Move her in front. Attack with magic. Sink! Okay. I was kind of concerned that wasn't dying. Okay. Attack normally. Got him. Easy. You found 120. Nice. Alright, that looks like that's all in the cave, so. Not really much there. Let's go. God, new enemies, huh? Four. Not that. Move. Let's take out this shroom first. Ba -ba -ba. Miss. Oh, it actually hit me now. I guess now we're out of the tutorial, huh? Perfect. 
Okay, well, I don't think there's anything else in the forest. I think everything else was closed off for the most part. So, let's return. Back to Mother Green. Okay, she's here. All right. So I think we talked to everyone in the main town square area. Let's go into here. Hello. I came to this town to make myself look like a sexy lady. Did it work? Found some Medicandy. Nice. I know we don't have a sign up front, but we can custom tailor clothes. Oh. Well, sounds like that's going to come in handy later. Have you seen my little boy? Where did he run off to? I told him to wait for me until I was done shopping. What a little brat. I I've actually seen him. Miss Atoli is coming to check on her dress today. I can't wait. Why do you have a barrel blocking your stairs? It seems kind of weird, right? All right, can I go tell this little boy that his uh, mother's here? Hey, 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 kid. Nope, I cannot. Okay, that's fair. Can I interrupt this goddess statue? Ah, yeah, I can. Nice. Okay, oh, yeah, this door. Oh, is this a monster? This egg sure had me fooled. I thought I was lucky when I found the egg, but it was just a toy egg. I don't need it. Would you like to have it? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and take it. I don't want it anyway. Acquired a toy egg. Okay. Found Metacoco. Bye, lady. So what, what is that? Hey, do that! Whoa, who's there? Over here, do that. Hey, that egg is talking. Can you hear me? Yes. Dude, I've never met a human that could possibly understand puppets. I got it, you must be. The name's Kid. The youngest of three egg brothers. I was like totally separated from them. We may look stupid to you, but we're destined to become real heroes for sure. Will you play your horn and let me join your party? Hell yeah. Man, you're so cool. Play that funky horn, do that. Interesting. Thanks. I'm like totally ready to kick some butt. Hey, free party member, I'll take it. What is he? Uh, status, maybe? He's a wind element. Probably kind of like a tank, I would guess, given his offensive defensive capabilities. And his low intelligence. And agility, for that matter. Not that I know what these do or anything, but... Do I have any spare equipment? Nope, okay. This is Melody Square. Hey, Cornet! Why don't you play your horn here? Not right now. You don't want a bummer. The only thing I hate about this kingdom is that Glonzo's our minister. Fair. I've never met him, but it sounds like a lot of people don't like him. Can I not go to the right? Nope. Oh, I found some free stuff, though. Ha! <laughs> ha! Yes. Rose Queen Store. Hmm. What do you have for sale, sir? Welcome, welcome. Buy items. You have a Warrior's Charm, which increases defense. And Thinking Cap, which increases intelligence. Okay, well... I don't have much, so I can't really buy anything. But that's fine, though. One day, I will have money. What about this place here? Excuse me. I'm planning to be the first to sign up for the contest. This is where the reception desk will be, so I'll be the first person in line. Humans are weird. How can you feel happiness just from admiring a person? 
Would you like to join Chris Friend and Fan Club? Sure. Please write your name and address here. Alrighty then, Miss Cornette of Orange. We'll be sending you a newsletter soon. Tra la la! I've joined the fan club! Oh, my Prince Ferdinand. I found a bit of cocoa. Nice! Excellent. Okay. So, this place, and then I can play a melody. I found wake candy. Welcome to the restaurant on the lake. Okay, that's all you gotta say. What the? A girl dumped me again? What's with the what the fuck? Hello, sir. That old man is a famous gourmet food critic. And the scent, the texture, the flavor. No wonder they make the royal family food. Yummy. Fish that are caught at Lake Mirage are simply the greatest. This restaurant makes the best orange fish dish? It's the prince's favorite, you know. He loves the bobos that can be found in Natalie River on the Wonderwoods. You know, they don't call the Natalie River Natalie River for nothing. A long time ago, there was a girl named Natalie. She was about the same age as you. She fell in love and uh, ran away with a member of the royal family. However, it was forbidden for royal family members to marry commoners. Knowing that they could never be together, they decided to jump into the river, rather than live a life without true love. It was then named after that girl. Okay. You should be happy just knowing that you're eating the same thing that the prince eats. Okay, very... Very, like, differently clothed weighty. I was answering the call of nature in front of the castle when the minister caught me in action. He said he was so PO'd that he was going to execute me. I was lucky that the soldiers with him saved my life. Who, who says that? Who just, like, sees a person and is like, Hey, lady, by the way, I, uh, I was taking a leak on the castle. And the fucking guards were like, Hey, don't do that. Funny story, right? Okay, sir. I'm just a girl. What do you mean? Did you hear that? The prince likes the fish called Bobo. Or Baba. Yeah, I heard. See, didn't I tell you? You should listen to me more. I'm the brains of the South Bitch, you know. Yeah, yeah, whatever. If that's so, let's boogie over to the Natalie River and catch us some bubbo. Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. <laughs> hey, is that you, Cornet? Yeah, the one with the big horn. <laughs> Ugh, that better not be a tolle. I knew it was you. Long time no see, Cornet. Hmm, <laughs> anything wrong? You don't look well. Oh, I almost forgot. Your face doesn't look so good to begin with. <laughs> but that village girl outfit looks very good on you, as usual. On the other hand, I wouldn't have the guts to wear something like that. Simple, and yet pure. I can almost smell the countryside. You can really be a jerk sometimes, Atole. Oh no, did I upset you? I was just telling you the truth. There's nothing to get set about. Oh, I see. You're upset because my godlike beauty, aren't you? <laughs> well, I don't blame you. Even I will be jealous of my beauty. But unfortunately, I can't share this beauty with you. This girl is in need of a major attitude adjustment. That voice. Oh, Kururu, I didn't see you. I've been here the whole time, you self-centered egotistical maniac. You two are inseparable, just like real sisters. 
Being an only child, I feel so alone. Sometimes it brings a tear to my eye. Fortunately, these moments pass quickly. My, my, how times fly. As much as I love wasting my time with you, I really must get going. I have to get fitted for my custom dress by Calvin Klein. <laughs> of course, it's for the contest. It cost me one million tonium, you know. Hear that? One million in tonium. <laughs> I'm rich. Uh, you see, no ordinary dress can compare with my beauty. Even the dress I'm wearing doesn't do me justice. Well, I'm sorry, but I really must get going. I have no time to waste. Ta-ta, peasants. <laughs> oh, this girl. This, this woman. Let's get out of here. Don't let her get to you, Cornette. This is Melody Square. Hey, Cornette, play a song? Sure, why not? If it gives me some Antonium, I'll, I'll do it. I don't care. They just keep giving me money. I'm curious. Wow, they did. Okay. I could just do that a couple thousand times and get free dosh. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's see what these people have to say. I found more money. Hmm. Just keep going straight to get to Marl Castle. You can't miss it. Oh, to be the wife of a prince. I know they won't pick me, but I can dream, can't I? Excuse me, I'm just gonna go. Oh, fuck, they actually let me in. I was not expecting to get this far. Are you here for the tour of the castle? No. Please come visit the castle again if you want. It was the queen's idea to let people to her castle. She cares about her people. What if I say yes? Okay, please don't touch anything in the castle. You might break something. Oh, I'll break something, all right. I wonder if the prince is going to accept my handmade sweater. And the girl who's guarding the prince's room has nothing to do with the prince. She thinks she's the prince's bodyguard or something. I came all the way down from White Snow to give a present to the prince, but... <clears throat> the prince always comes up with us. Uh, comes up to us and asks how we're doing. He's swell. That's good. I'm just gonna wander around. The queen was originally a commoner. Not everyone was happy when she became queen, but that was a long time ago. I mean, it was like... Less than a hundred years ago, I'm guessing. Ooh! Is that a chest up there? The soldier tried to talk to me when he retired. It helps them relieve from stress. I'm happy to be doing it. I can't believe they assigned me to be Galonzo's stupid bodyguard. That sucks. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna loot some stuff, sir. I hope you don't mind. Thank you, sir. All right. This is a throne room. Oh, hello. The prince went into the woods without telling us where he was going. If he really wants to become king, he should act accordingly. Atoll won the last two contests, but she's going down this year. Yeah, you're right, because I'm going to win it now. Ah, oh, church. My dream is to have a wedding ceremony here. Oh, please, God. Let me make out with Francis and I'll never ask for anything again. I like that guy. Do you believe in God? No. May God have mercy on your soul. Yeah, fuck off, sir. Oh, whoa. Weird. Okay, so what if we go to the right? 
Minister Galonzo is one of the heroes who helped the war 18 years ago. Or 16 years ago, I should say. You can hear a beautiful melody. Listen to it. Sure. Atlas USA. God damn it. Really? It's a new little Easter egg. If you're here to see the prince, you should just turn around and go home. We're here to protect the prince from the vermin of society. Hmm. I heard from that girl that Galonzo is training monsters. Can you believe it? Did you know that Galonzo keeps a monster for a pet? If the queen ever found out, she would yank him out of the office so fast to make his head spin. Well, then tell her. The contest is gonna start. We'll be busy during the contest, so I better take a nap right now. Not you. Talk to you. Ah! You caught me wandering around doing nothing. Don't tell Galonzo, okay? When we work hard, Galonzo's the one that gets all the credit. It makes me want to not work so hard. I understand that, sir. To the right, to the right. Oh, God. There's more rooms. It is a castle, I guess. What the shark? Can I get this? Yeah! For money! Oh, Jesus. Everything happened? Are these just waiting rooms? They're not bedrooms or anything. No. I need more loot. No. Wow. Rude. How dare they get my hopes up like that and then not have anything else in there. I'm so busy. I hate cleaning this place. It's too big. I wish they would hire more people. Well, good luck with that, ma'am. So this must be where the contest is going to be held. And I'm assuming that booth over on the right is going to be where, like, judges sit or something stand or whatever. No, how about we go down here? Meow. Nope. I, I did not see where my character was at. <clears throat> hello, hello. The one on the left is mo Mommy. The guy on the right is Hammer. Mr. Tole brought them and appointed them to become soldiers. Okay. There's no such thing as an iron soldier. It's just a bunch of hoo-ha. It was. Soldiers like us would be out of a job. Miss Atole saved Mommy and me when we were wounded in battle. That's why I'm willing to risk my life in order to protect her. An ancient weapon made of iron brought an end to the world. Or to the war. I heard there was three heroes. Mr. Galanza and two... He just didn't finish the thought. Okay. What is this place? It's like an underground temple? Almost? Nothing else here. Okay. I feel like some shady stuff's gonna go down there at some point. I already searched all that. What about over here to the left? Who does she think she is? My prince is not her property. Are you here to see the prince? No. Then don't go near my prince's room. Sure. A country girl like you won't be able to talk to the prince. Let alone meet him. Who do you think you are? Wow, what a bitch. <clears throat> I guess we just gotta steal, uh, Vitoli's dress. Yeah? Hey, kid, you wanna go to your mom yet? Nope, okay. Hey, hey, kid, move out of the way. Can I see her in here now? Nope, she's just gone. Okay. Alright, so our next goal is to go back to the Wonderwoods. But what if we go to the ancient forest first? And just kind of look around there and see if there's anything there that we can find out, right? Oh. Is that all this is? Oh! Oh! I fell. Oh. I'm not sure... How I feel about all the monsters being like... Oh, but they're not question mark, question mark, question mark. Never mind. Oh, the ones were. Maybe that's because of the tutorial area. I don't know. All right, move. Move up to 
Oh. I just used my horn. Not moved. Okay. Let's move. Move you here. Magic. Oh. It has one HP left. Wow. Move him here. Attack! We're gonna go down here. Help attack this boy. Go. And then. Charte will defeat him. Nice. Level 5. Level 5 and learned Wake. Kid is level 2. Nice. Kid is level 3. Oh. Got a couple levels off that. Very nice. Okay. Is this gonna be a Lost Woods thing? That's a shame. Oh, I can't use the horn either. Reward. Huh? Well, we'll just end. Okay, move. I move her up here. I think I can cast the magic from that range, right? Yep. Got him. Very rude of them. Attack! Are these B girls? Level six. Level four. Oh, really? Oh, I thought we were gonna get like more level ups than that. That's fine. That's fine too. I don't really know what we're doing here, but we can grind. Uh, oh god. Is this like a uh, an actual dungeon dungeon? Is that what this is? Alright, horn time! So I guess the horn is an AoE attack. Is that it? Alright, egg boy! Go up and attack directly! I attack their life points directly. Magic. Wake wakes people up. Okay. Yep, this is the healer bot. No. Ja! Enemy turn. Ah, how dare you. Nice. Charte is now level 6. Kid is level 5. Skill level increased. Skill level is now level two. What? What skill level? What's that mean? Skill level? Huh. Maybe that just affects overall damage and stuff? Anyway, I want to save. Easy. Okay. So before I go down on the floor, I want to actually uh, check the other areas out. It could be more loot or something here, you know? Unless they all happen to go down. Oh, there we go. Acquired Meta Candy. Nice. This is why you explore everywhere. Oops. That would do it. Gotta be careful of that. All right, <clears throat> move. Doo -doo -doo. Horn. Same spell. Oh, we didn't die, huh? Okay. Hurrah! That might be weak to, uh... oh God. Oh! Uh... I hope they can't do that a lot. 
Did that uh injure them as well or I hope it injured them too. There we go. Got a rabbit pie. up here so she can hit the slime. Yeah. Can I move him into position to attack the slime? I cannot. Darn. I was hoping to get the slime kill before I can do the explosion attack. Oh no! One of my puppets actually actually died. I think it's time to take a tactical withdrawal. Exit stage right. All right. I think Mother Green has the closest uh, thing we can go to here. Heal me! Okay, now they should all be healed, right? Uh, apparently not. How do I... How do I heal? Like, special... What's all this? How do I, uh, revive them? Uh, Cornet and uh, the fairy gal. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll go to the item shop. They'll have to sell me a revival thing. Nope. Am I just doomed? Oh no. I gotta go back to Grandpa. And he'll repair the, the puppet, right? That's what it was. Grandpa, my puppet broke. Kojicha. I see your pups are here up there. I'm gonna fix them. Yeah. Fix Charte. Fucking 600? Oh my god. Okay, I guess don't let your puppets break. Fuck me. Okay, let that be a lesson. If your puppets break, you're gonna have a bad time. Excuse me. Okay, well, <clears throat> let's go to the Wonder Woods and actually do the uh, the, the story here. I think the river was further to the left, right? Left and then down. <laughs> okay, let's catch ourselves some bubbles. Let's get this over with. Uh oh. There, there. What are they actually enemies? They are, okay. Move. I'm gonna move her. Uh, let's, let's move her over here, actually. I'll use the horn attack. Let's use the horn attack now. Okay. Get up. And attack! Oh. 
it uh it did not die. How about this then? Yeah. No, it has one HP left. Fuck. Fine. Okay. Attack them. Let's attack them. And attack them. Yeah, okay. Move a step closer so we can cast magic on this one. Alright, beat him up! is now level seven. Aw, yeah. All right. Let's go back and cook these up for the prince. This way, meow. Sniff, sniff. I smell food, meow. These boys. You guys again. Meow. Give us your fish. Meow. Just give it up, meow. We're gonna have Mr. Bird cook us up a nice dish, meow. Internet. Looks like the crazy cat girl's not here today. We took these guys out before, so let's do it again. You, meow? Take us lightly, meow? Yeah, meow. So, I'm just telling the truth. We have more friends now, meow. Ah, uh, more. Alrighty then. Go get him, Cornet. Hey. Then we got this egg boy. All right. Move up. Corn attack. God damn. God damn it. What's for a board? Sugar candy attack. stuff like spells or oh oh that works that just end her turn for now let's do her in not the bombs. Did he just try to Mario with me by jumping on his head? Okay. Can I just sugar candy pack these guys again? I'm not sure I understand the mechanic, though. Like, what allows me to do that? Alright, let's bully this last cat. Get bullied. Cornette's now level 8. Kid is now level 7. I found a heal. I thought this was a corpse for a second, and I was like, what game am I playing? Yeah, we beat him up good. Why are there so many cats running around? I'm starting to hate cats. Never mind about that. Let's go while the fish is fresh. Fishy, fresh, fishy, fresh, fishy, fresh, fishy, fresh, fresh. Meow. Oh no! An attack! More toads, huh? Okay, so I made. So I used my horn. And I gained two more of the, like, notes in the upper right. So I move with the kid. He moves up here and attacks. I move with her. She moves up here and attacks. Hmm. Okay. 
So do those reward things? Maybe those skills are used if I get the, uh, the one stuff. <laughs> yeah, the one stuff. That stuff. The mag magical notes. Musical notes. There they are. So am I going home to do it, or am I going to Mother Green? I would assume I just go home, right? To cook them? Let's cut. Oh, it's you guys. What are you up to? I love cooking, I love cooking. La la la. I love cooking for you, my prince. Okay, I guess it's ready. What do you think, Kudadu? This is Cornette's special orange fish. Wow, let me taste it. Hey, get your grubby little hands off that. I made it especially for the prince. Give me just a little bite. Hey, it tastes real good. Really? Yeah, really. It has this fruity aroma and elegant flavor that tickles your tongue. I'm so glad you like it. I'm a pretty good cook, aren't I? Now the question is, how are we going to bring it to the prince? Hmm, what shall we do? Wait a minute. Maybe we can use that path. Hey, Cornette. Catch up with me outside the church later. special path to the prince. Are we breaking into the castle? Shh, be quiet. We're almost there. I thought if we do this... Uh... Nani? Uh... This... This is... Surprise. It's an old waterway. It's not used anymore. So-called ruins, I guess. Ruins. Yep. You could take this thing all the way to the castle if you wanted to. It's kind of like an escape route for the people in the castle. But not many people know about it, even the ones living in the castle. Hmm, but how do you know about that? Oh, you ask too many questions. Let's go. Okay, but first. I think my team is a little bit injured or missing some mana at least. So we might as well take our time and uh, go, 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 go up here and pray. Or whatever. Meow, meow, meow. And the secret entrance, yes. You didn't see that old lady. I feel like this is gonna be like, uh, it's gonna like end in me like getting arrested or something. Door's locked. Uh, I wonder if that goes to the ancient ruins. Could possibly. Uh, left or right? Left. Uh oh. Hold on, there's a switch. Huh? It's stuck. There. Oh, yeah. Forgot to tell you about the secret of the switch. It's trapped? Monsters will appear just like that, so be careful. Tee hee. Stupid. Why didn't you say that before you turned it on? Why, why do monsters appear? Not Cornette. Move up. Use your horn. Toot, toot, toot in the horn. Okay, so now the music number went to one instead of zero. So I think that will allow her to do an actual attack with it. Uh, 
I think if I go here, I can use same time? Nope. Rocks in the way. Okay. Well, hopefully they don't explode on me. They didn't. Okay. So you'll see reward. Okay, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. So I can stack five. And five is like a kind of massive heal. That one attacks all enemies. It seems like sugar candy was really good though. Like it destroyed like a bunch of them, right? Can't attack through him. I'll do horn again. Why not? Can't get through. So I gotta fight him like this. Now I can move though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which will allow her to move up. And it seems they're weak against physical, so. Got him. <laughs> Learn holy. Nice. Skill level two. Found healing candy. Excellent. Let's go. But I didn't want to go this way yet. Alright, so what area in the castle am I in? Hey, Kududu, I can't see anything. What did you expect? It's dark in here, huh? Besides, we can't use a torch. The room seems to be filled with gas. Ah. Uh, Gas? Yeah, gas. What kind of gas? Something really stinks. Hey, Cornette, did you? No way. Ew, we finally made it. It doesn't smell great, but you can't have everything. Hey, what is this? Ew, we came out of a toilet? Sure looks like it. Ew. How do I let you talk me into these things? Do you really expect me to meet the prince smelling like this? Calm down, Cornette. It's not being used anymore. Honest. Look here, it says out of service, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <sighs> you don't have to yell. I wonder if the prince would think if he heard you. Excuse me, Kududu. What's going on? Who's yelling out there? What's going on here? Can't you do it quietly? Hmm. What are you doing here? Kuru, this is the men's bathroom. Uh, that's not something we should be worried about right now. I've never seen you here before. You must be... Uh, well, we were just... I'll just stand there, say something. You must be a secret admirer, huh? Huh? Oh, it's just so hard being me. Women just can't get enough of me. Sneaking in like this, how adorable. Hmm. What a pleasant smell. Oh, I see. Huh? This is, uh... And you shouldn't have a present for me? <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, you're right. She made it just for you, Minister Galonzo. She talks about you all the time and blah 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 continues. Is that so? What are you doing? I mean this for the prince. Shh, we're getting arrested if we don't do this. What are you guys mumbling about? Come on, just play along, follow my lead, okay? Alright already, I'll try. We're glad that we can talk to you face to face, right, Kernet? Yeah, I'm I'm happy too. <laughs> uh, is that so? Hmm, you're pretty cute. Let me see your face. Come here so I can get a better look at you, my dear. That's what he says, Kernet. Just think about your prince. Come close, my dear, don't be shy. And this is how we get just like fucking destroyed. Come on, Cornette, just do what he says. Hmm, why are you so shy? Come here, I won't bite. The fuck you won't! Hmm. Are you nervous? How adorable. Ah, get away from me, you pervert. That's it, buddy. You're going down. Ha! <laughs> oh no, we threw the food at him. Help! Somebody help me! I'm being ambushed! Hurry! Get them! Hurry! Monsters. Off with their heads! Uh oh. Ba 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 ba. 
Horn attack, go! Move. Do -do 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 -do. In front of Cornette, and I can't attack them right. Yep. Oops, I can undo that? Okay. I think if I go here, I can cast my... What's Holy do? Inflicts damage, Holy. What about Saint? Okay, perfect. That's enough to kill those guys. How very rude. Haha, -ha, you missed! Get Rex on. Required. Burnett, kid. Found healing candy. Nice. Assassin, I'll see to it that you pay for your crimes. Hurry, let's just get out of here. Yep, this went exactly how I expected it to, pretty much. <sighs> Are you alright, Cornette? Yeah, I guess. That old pervert, how dare he? He ruined our plan. I'll let him get away with this. Never. The next day... We got arrested. This is exactly what's going to happen. 100%, I'm going to go downstairs. And... Like, guards are going to be there. And I'm going to, like... <laughs> I have to fight him and get arrested or something. Well, finally made my money back from repairing the, the puppet. Grandpa. By the way, there's some kind of fan club newsletter in the mailbox? Must be for you. Nice. No? Hmm. Prince Fan Club Newsletter, Volume 221. Miss Marl's Contest. Be all that you can be, read these brochure. Will the winner be Miss Vitoli again? Rumor has it that this year's winner will be the candidate for the Prince's Bride. The favorite to win is Miss Vitoli of Mother Green, the winner for the last two years. This year's contest is expected to be competitive. Sign up to win to the enrollment window. Let's show the power of the fan club members. Okay. Well, while we're here, before I, uh, how much people are back up yet? Shirtay is a little bit low mana, but that's fine. What was that other route that we didn't go down? So I'm curious if there's anything there. Oops, almost went back up. That would have been embarrassing. Up. Past there. Darn. Oh, little dragons, huh? Horn them. Okay. Charge straight forward. Let's go. Attack him. Hey, we got it. Nice. I don't think even if I move there, he's going to be able to attack. So I'm going to move her here. And the turn. Cornette can tank some damage since she doesn't require repairs. That's how I'll do. Got it. Okay, now we go right. And it was just a chest. With a heal combo in it. Gosh darn it. Okay, that's fine. I wonder if I can go back up that other way. Alright, let's move here. Horn! Slime. I should be able to kill this slime too. I just don't want them to use explosion on me. Hell yeah. Ow. Okay. Let's get out of here. I guess we can go to Mother Green and maybe sign up for the contest or something. First, while we're at this church, let's get healed.
fan club? No, there was, nope, there was another one, I think. I think the sign-up's right here. Yeah. I'm red hot, but I just don't stack up to the other girls, figuratively and literally. Are you short? You gotta be a participant. Yes, fill out this form and sign on the dotted line. Here and here. Okay, that's it. Everything you need to know is printed on this form. The contest will be held a day after tomorrow. Good luck. Well, did you take care of your registration? Yeah, it's all cool. And here are the details of the contest. Oh, it'll keep me in suspense. What does it say? Wear a dress that makes you look beautiful. Hmm. Really? That's a pretty lame way to judge how a person is. But why is it written so small? Like this some kind of contract or what? Never mind, I'll read it later. Oh no. Anyway, let's just go find something you can wear. <laughs> oh god. You there, is that you, Cornette? Yeah, that must be a toy. I knew it. And those pleasant clothes really stick out like a sore thumb. You should really stop following me around, Cornette. People might get the wrong idea about me. What are you talking about? Hmm. You look a little tired, Cornette. Poor thing, are you eating enough? It must be really hard to live in poverty, huh? Of course, I wouldn't know anything about that. Anyway, what were you doing at the reception desk a while ago? You're not thinking about entering the contest, are you? Yeah, so what's it to you? Oh my, you can't possibly. Why not? Ha, huh, why not, she says. Isn't it obvious? That's because I'll be in the contest. Besides, have you looked in the mirror lately? You're just way out of your league, Cornette. What is that supposed to mean? Oh dear, naive cuckoo. Cuckoo. It takes more than just hard work and effort to get by in this world. Money, 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 always sunny. In a rich woman's world, it's M M M B B B. I was gonna say money, and but then I was like, oh, what if I spell it out? God damn it! It's money. Money will let me do whatever I want. In this world, money is fame, fortune, and power. And that that to my additionally exquisite beauty. And I am almost unstoppable. Oh, Cornette, we've known each other a long time, right? I even consider us friends. And as a friend, I'd like to give you a little piece of advice. Don't enter the contest. Can't you see that I'm trying to keep you from humiliating yourself? No. So I see. Then I'll take that as a challenge. I can't wait until they choose me. It'll be exciting. Oh, and by the way... Did I tell you that I bought all the dresses in this town? <laughs> God damn it. Good luck trying to find a dress, Cornette! <laughs> I'm a bitch! Good luck, huh? I don't know why I put up with her. I'm gonna teach that stuck-up snob that there are more important things than money. So, what should we do? You can't participate in the contest without a dress. Oh, hold on. Give me a second to think. How about wearing your underwear on the outside of your clothes? I've seen it done before. <laughs> ah, why do I even bother? You got a better idea? If you can't buy a dress, we have to come up with something better. Standing around won't do us any good. Let's go scope out the shop next door. Meow. When I take my eyes off mom, she just heads off to buy more clothes. Hey, where did my son go? I swear that kid's gonna give me such a whooping. He's right there, lady. Would you like to order a custom dress? Sure. I'm sorry, but Mr. Tole bought everything available. You can try going to the woods to find a dress. What? What do you mean, dude? I heard that there was a theater there. You might be able to find some leftover dresses there. What? What do you mean? Did you know that Mr. Tole placed an order 
for a three-year supply of clothes. She sure is loaded. She's she's Miss Misatole. That skank knows that if we participate, she is gonna lose. So that's why she's being a skank like this. What's a suspension bridge? Oh. Can I fish here? Nope. I'm going to retire from being a god soon. When I do, I'll probably move to Red Hot. Let's see. North. White snow. Oh, that's that's all? No what what's left? Bridges out. Do you have a permit? No. Kelly threw out a permit. Go home. Did she just click her tongue at me? I think she did. Son of a bitch. Okay. One of the Wonderwoods. Yes, sir. To the Wonderwoods. All right. Meow. So I guess we just go further to the left. Because there's nothing in the cave in terms of a theater. Wait, is the cat girl part of the theater? Oh, no. West is... Really? Burger restaurant? That's a new one. I'm gonna do a save real quick since it's been a moment. We'll just save over option one now. Meow. This is where we fought the cat lady. I thought there was a theater around here. Hmm. Hold on, Cornette. Don't you smell something? It smells pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. It smells like barbecue. Cornette, can I ask you for a really big favor? You don't tell me you want to eat what you're smelling. I'm hungry. I want to eat. Please, Cornette, can we? Sure. Then let's go. Sniff, sniff. This way. Ah, uh, this girl. Bag bar. I didn't know there was a place like this in the forest. Maybe someone renovated the theater and turned it into a store. After this meal, we're gonna go back to continuing our search. All right? Sure. Okay, if you say so. Hey, you're the one who wanted to eat. I love the, you is just someone's garbage can. Today's special, special barbecue and fun events. Fun events, you say. I like myself some fun events. Make the barbecue right. Choose a meal that you prefer. Kids combo, children choose the right entrance. Now be sure to fill up anybody. Big eaters choose the middle entrance. Healthy and low calorie lean eaters choose the left entrance. A menu is available to the left of each entrance. Huh. It's just a barrel. Oh, okay. Is there a barrel? I, I feel like Cornette would choose the left one. This seems... Hey, there's a sign here. Hmm. In order to serve you with the best food, we have placed various obstacles in the restaurant to get your juices flowing. The meal is 10 times better after some good exercise. Good luck. Okay, what does good luck part mean? We're gonna get fucking destroyed. M -m 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 monsters This is what they meant about exercise? Good luck, they seem... Well, I think we know where they're gonna get the meat for all this, huh? Do -do -do -do. All right. Go, Egg Knight. In attack position. Swipe him with your axe. Perfect. Can I just normal attack him? Yeah, I can. That's right, attack Cornette. Don't attack my little puppets that break and I have to spend 800 stuff on them to fix. That's, that's awful. Okay. What's this then? Just a stall? I mean, a 
know. Oh, great. It's an actual dungeon. I meant to move closer, but I accidentally hit the wrong button. It's okay, I'll just toot my horn a little more. Hmm. Magic! I actually didn't really look. Is, is that like a cannon on her left arm? Is that what that is? Like a magic cannon? It's kind of cool. Acquired barely any experience. Nice. Okay. There's a scale here, though. Can I get on that? Your weight is... Hey, get off! I don't do livestock. Wow. That's rude. Hey, puppet. I don't know what's on the sign at the entrance of this room. People usually head for the next room after reading the sign. Get on the salt to revitalize your body. What? Why is the floor here covered with salt? More exercise, huh? I think someone's messing with us. Interesting. There and toot that horn. We're gonna charge him to the B girl. I can't be able to hit the uh, slimes, unfortunately. But with any luck, they won't cast their explosion spell at us. That's right, miss, you s jerks. Oh, I didn't kill it? Okay, well. Kid, fuck it up. There we go. Heck yeah. Okay. Final step. The combination of sweating and food makes it taste better. The food part sounds good, but why the heck is it so hot in here? Because there's dragons, of course. Let's just move all the way up and attack normally. Perfect. I'll take this one out. I like the uh, the fire breathing animation for the dragons, where like their entire body like warms up until like it uh, fires out their mouth. Pretty cool. Ugh. All right, next room. Hmm, what a pleasant smell! I'm so hungry. These bugs. Are you ready now? Meat, 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 meat. I love making barbecue. To make barbecue, you need a spice to get to spice it up good. Oh yeah, there it is, the main dish, barbecue. I'm gonna make barbecue out of you all. Barbecue meow, barbecue meow, barbecue meow. Ah, uh, this restaurant may not be the best place to find something to eat, especially when we're the main course. You guys look nice and fresh. Yum, yum. All you Nyankos want to eat some delicious barbecue? Yeah, meow, yeah, meow. But I have a question. What's the key to making great barbecue? Let them exercise to get rid of unnecessary fat. How about the taste? Salt them lightly, meow. And how do we cook them? Steam them lightly and tenderize them with a mallet. Good, good. Uh, let me guess. We're the ones being prepared to be cooked. And tenderize, right? Correct, Amundo. But not many fall into this trap as easily as you did. Shut up. All right, let the tenderizing begin. 
So about this smell we were smelling, like, was stuff actually being cooked before? Because that's kind of fucked up. If you think about it, tenderize, meow meow. I won't let you tenderize me that easily. Let's go, Kududu. Are you ready? I'm ready to get tenderized, baby. Uh, hello, stupid. You do know what tenderized means. She was a. Uh, yeah. Okay. Horn, go! Move! Attack that cat! Yeah, punch him right in the face. Fuck yeah. Kid, move up and protect us here, I guess. Tank that damage. Oof, 18 damage each, huh? Cornette, move to the side and attack that cat. Charte, use your magic to fuck him up. Perfect. Now, kid, finish him off. Hey. I required money and stuff. Ooh, Mega Saint. Kid isn't learning any skills, though. You'll be sorry for messing around with me. I'm going to pound you good next time. Pound meow, pew meow. That was the wall, sir. Oh look, a door. How convenient. But first, yeah, that's right. That's fucking right. This vase seems expensive. Let's take it and sell it for money. Found antidote chips. Okay. Found a mouse, but it won't help you through this game. Okay. Ew, this place is gross. Uh, that's a big bunny. Anybody think about dusting this place? <laughs> Quit it, Kududu. Come on, there should be a dress in here somewhere. Let's check it out. What if we ask the puppet? Wow. This is getting interesting. Hello, my name is Elkun. The gigantic stuffed bear. No way! You're a stuffed animal? Hey, Cornette. I got a brilliant idea. Why don't you enter the contest wearing this? Huh? Come on! It'll stand out and it's cute, too. You'll be able to beat a toy with this, no problem. Contest? Then you should definitely use me as your costume. No. Cornette, we don't have time. You gotta decide now. No. Cornette, we don't have time. You gotta decide. No. Fine. All right, then we're set. Thank you very much. I thought I'd never get out of this dusty pris <clears throat> prison. Now I'll be able to take the stage again. <sighs> Add Elkoon to the party. Am I, I'm gonna wear his bell and cloak, or am I gonna wear like his skin? Because if he talks, that's a whole different can of beans right there. Elkun has joined your party. What are you worried about? It's gonna be great. You'll see, just trust me. Do you really think so? I'm not sure about this. Let's go. But wait, no, there was stuff to explore back there. You can't just do that. See, exactly. What do you say? I envy Elkun. He's realized his dream. But what about mine? I've never given any thought. Well, find a dream, sir. More loot, come on. More loot, more loot. <laughs> no, okay. That's fair. So, I wonder. If I go through the other places, is it the same area, or is it a different area? Yeah, it looks the same, okay. All roads lead somewhere. Green slime. Okay. Aha! Elkun is part of my team. Let's go! Oh, he's a little demon bear. Nice. Attack! Attack! 
I might swap Elkoon and Cornet. That way Elkoon is uh, in the front. Order. But I can't? Oh man. I wanted him to be in front of Cornette so Cornette would move last so I could position her and do stuff. But that's fine. I guess. Sad face. Oh, it's probably a good thing we have a disguise on when we're going to that contest because of the uh, whole intruder thing we just experienced. Okay. Guess we're going back to Mother Green. Oh, they said the thing was tomorrow, right? Oop. So do I just go to the castle then, or...? Okay, hold on. You suck. Turtle condition. Might as well sell it, why not? Don't need to climb on my inventory. Okay. Do I go to the castle now, maybe? Oh, hey there. Are you a contestant? Yeah? Then please come in, it's time. <clears throat> this is gonna be kind of odd. Oh, the throne room. Hey, I found a heal thing! Nice. What's over here? Ooh, stairs. Ooh, more stairs. And this? Why can't men participate in the contest? Private rooms are for the Queen and Prince located beyond this point. Sorry, but they're off limits. It's just common courtesy, you know. Boo. Oh man. Flower's dying. Yeah, probably no one wants to walk up here and water it. Flower's beautiful. Flower's dying. Oh. there's one flower that's dying, the rest are... Or there's one flower that's beautiful, the rest are dying. That's weird. Am I going this way? Oh, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for attending the contest. As you all may know, the contest this year is a special one. Today, our prince will choose his bride-to-be. I believe social status has nothing to do with woman's value. I would hope that Ferdinand chooses a woman with inner beauty and strength. Good luck to all of you. Wow, a woman's true value is not judged by her status or beauty, huh? She sure knows what she's talking about. Of course. She's the mother of the prince, after all. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <clears throat> I will now describe how the contest will be judged. In the first round, we'll be judging on your dress. We will be judge you. Uh, we will be judging you not only by its cost or beauty, but by how you naturally you carry and express yourself in the dress. All right, this round's as good as ours. Do you really think so? The second is leadership. Strong leadership qualities are essential that the queen must possess. For example, if the king were incapacitated in some way, the queen must be ready to take over the army at a moment's notice to defend the kingdom. We will also be testing your ability to do actual combat. According to our queen, the household is like a battlefield itself. Whatever that means. Good luck to you all. Some of you may die, but good luck. <laughs> oh. C combat Kururu, what should I do? Did you hear what he said? Yeah, 
You stink at stuff like that. What do you mean? Please, can I have your attention just for a few minutes? And the final round will consist of a singing competition. Wow, we got this in the bag then. It's meant to be your expression of your true self through music. No matter what your lyrics are, we'll know if you're singing them truly from the heart. This is now concludes the judgment criteria. The contest will begin in 15 minutes. Good luck. Where's uh, our rival? I can't believe we're gonna wear a fucking bear costume. A leadership category, that sounds really exciting. Okay, I guess we're leaving then. So are these just waiting rooms or? Would you be quiet, father? But you. I have no intention of marrying the prince. Then why? I can do whatever I want. Anyway, I'm not interested in marriage. Having a family doesn't mean anything. You and mother have ruined it. Oof. What's this? You're going to do to me? Slap me? Come on. All you and mother care about is money and status, nothing else. You don't care about me. You want me to get married to the prince so you can move up in the social ladder. Well, you've got another thing coming. Cornette, why are you here? I'm just chilling. Um, hi, Mr. Rosen Queen. I'm sorry, I to see this. It's all right, I'll be going now. Cornette, what do you think about my daughter? Huh? Uh, she's kind of, well, uh, nice and caring. My ass. Uh, she's a bloated, self-centered, egotistical maniac who cares only about money. Shut up, Kududu. <laughs> Cornette, you're such a nice girl. You don't have to lie for her. I think she's a bloated and selfish. But she wasn't always like this. That was until she was about five years old. My business was expanding, and my wife and I were so caught up in social functions that we were not home for Atole as much as we would have liked to be. And to make up for that, we started to give Atole money. And what kind of dough are we talking, Pops? Well, to make a long story short, Atole started to depend on money for everything, for her emotional needs. I want to make things right between us, but just don't understand her anymore. She depends on money for everything. That's pretty sad. Oops, I'm sorry. Now, the funny thing is, she's been getting along with you all this time. I'm not so sure about getting along part. Cornette, please, take good care of her for me. Uh, yeah, sure. I know in my heart. If there's anyone who can reach a toilet, it's you, Cornette. Good luck. Thank you, Mr. Rosen Queen. All along, we were looking for a prince. What we really should have been looking for was the princess. Yeah. He's a good father. Yeah, father. I wonder what kind of person my father was. Well, we've been beating around. Uh, we will now begin the first round of contest. Contestants, please report to the waiting room. What waiting room? Is it down here? Is this the waiting room? Why didn't Galanzo think about cleaning earlier? He just ordered us to do the cleaning before the second round starts. My dress is getting dirty. Oh no. Why do I have to do the cleaning? Clean the training facility? They're making me work too hard. Oh, is this the cleaning training facility? Is that what that is? Hmm. Where were you? Line up. Is Atole not gonna line up? Good luck, Cornette. Yeah. The first round will now begin. Here's number 21, from the port town of Blue Cat, Katrina Mihail. 
Yeah, woo, cute dress, yeah, good job. The sprite animation is very nice here. Number 22! From the capital city of Mother Green, Natole Rosen Queen. In the same dress she was wearing when you saw her last. Of course, as she does. And last but not certainly, least, number 23. From the village of Orange, Cornet. It's pure. <laughs> Boo, go off the stage, you loser. <laughs> what the heck is that? Come on. Hmm. Does she really dress like that all the time? I thought girls wore nice dresses in contests like this. That was great, Cornette. People were laughing at you. Why would I want them laughing at me? Especially in front of the prince. Ah, I'm so embarrassed. Why did I listen to you in the first place? Stupid kudadu, stupid kudadu, stupid kudadu, stupid kudadu. But you, I really thought it was a good idea. You're lying. You just wanted people to laugh at me. I hate you, kudadu. I don't want to see you ever again. Don't get all sad now. I'm just telling you the truth. Hey. Yeah. Pretending to cry, huh? I'm not falling for that trick again. I found this really dumb soldier. I'm planning to charm him, use him to win the leadership category. I don't know why Atole is so popular. She's such a snob. It's really frustrating. Okay, but what if I go out here and go after my fairy? Atole, Atole, open the door. It's your father. Can you hear me? Why is she being so like this? Mr. Rosen Queen, something the matter? Oh, my queen, you must be worried about your daughter. Yes, very much so. But it's all right, I don't think she understands my feelings. What is wrong with you? What kind of parent are you? Didn't you hear the applause the people were giving your daughter? They proved that your daughter is becoming that great of a person people can look up to. But that's only because of her expensive clothes. People can't be impressed by dressing in clothes alone. You're just not seeing a toilet for who she is. That may be true, but... Yeah. There will come a time when you get along. As long as you truly care about her, Sir Rosen Queen. My queen. But, but my fairy... Second round will begin. Contestants, please report to the waiting room. What if I say hi to uh, Atole first, though? Hey, hey, girl. This is my room. Shouldn't you knock before you come in? Oh, that's it. Okay. Huh. I wonder if I can find her, or if uh, I'm like. Stuck not finding the fairy. Kudududu! Kudududududu! That was really funny. I'm sure people will talk about you for the next century. God damn it. I guess I can't, so. Bye! Unless she's downstairs? Nope, okay. Well, we'll find Kudududu later, I guess. Line up. Reasons him cussing, huh? Except minus Kudurdu, of course. But. Dajobu. Is this the leadership one or the combat one or whatnot? First round, new about number five will now be gone. <clears throat> in the blue corner, weighing in at a sultry 95 pounds. Olivia of Redberry. In the red corner, weighing in at a very round, wow, a hundred pounds, Cornet of Orange Village. That's rude, that's five pounds difference. 
Unless you meant like round is in like it's a, you know, round number since it's divisible by five and like a lot of other numbers. Maybe, I don't know. Was it in the castle, in the village? I'm sure I've met her. The rules of combat are very simple. The battle's over when one of you is unable to continue to fight. So beat the shit out of each other and have fun. Remember, this is the Miss Miles Kingdom contest, and foul play will not be tolerated. There will be no name calling, spitting, biting, scratching, or hitting below the belt. That is all. Fight! <laughs> Well, she just has monsters, just like chilling. Horn. All right. Oh, she just straight up like charged at me, huh? Hey, coon, attack! All right. Attack her too. She's almost dead. Hey, I think I win. All she's got is monsters left, guys. Elkoon, attack the bee! Wow, he just has boxing gloves. Attack! Got him. What an interesting, like, puppet stuffed animal Elkoon is. I like it. It's very nice. Very, very nice. And the winner is the Ogre of Orange, Cornet Espoir. God damn it. You're really fucking with me, huh? Winners, please wait in the waiting room. What's wrong with this thing? My horn isn't working right. You know, your mother used to play this very same horn. My mom? Yeah, and the horn has special power. What special power? It has the power to make wishes come true. Even my wish? Yep. Hmm, I wonder what my mommy wished for. Huh? Her wish was for Cornette to be happy. Really? Then, then, then I wish for Cornette to make many, many friends. Then, wish to make many, many friends and play the horn. Okay. But first, you must do one important thing. All right, Cornette, this is important, so listen. Okay. Wishing alone isn't enough. In order to play the horn properly, you have to have other people wishing for you to show its real power. So you have to be nice to your friends, okay? Okay. Good. But it's no big deal. Why is that? I already got you, Kududu. Yeah. You're right. We'll be together forever. Uh-oh. Is it because Kudukudu isn't around? Now that can't be. I must be imagining things. Is it just me or do they make like her sprite fatter looking? I guess I can just kind of walk out, right? Can I find Kudurudu? She's somewhere here. Kudurudu. It's like they're trying to make, trying to tell me to go find her, but she's like nowhere here, right? Maybe I gotta talk to. Tole again, but let's check this room quick. Oh, there's just more ladies here. Okay, hello, hello. Who is it? Uh, it's me, Cornette. No, it's just you. What do you mean by that? Can't you knock at the door at least? Didn't anyone teach you any manners? What do you want, anyway? I'm not in a good mood right now. I can see that. Your father seemed really worried about you, Tole. What do you care? It's none of your business. How would you know what I'm even feeling when you don't even have a... Uh, that's exactly why. I don't have a father or mother, that's why. That's why I'm telling you to stop being so stubborn, okay? What did you say? You aren't in any position to tell me what to do. Why don't you just practice what you preach then, you hypocrite? I saw your last fight. You couldn't fight. Just because you didn't have Kururu alongside you. Kururu has nothing to do with that. Is that so? That's not what I saw. Don't you think that you should just make up with her? Never mind that. Why don't you make up with your father? No. Why don't you make up with Kududu? What? 
Well, you got a father and mother to worry about you. You're the one who doesn't understand how much you need Kududu. I don't know why I even bother trying. Go see Kududu right now and apologize. Stop whining. Why don't you go apologize first? I don't think so. Why don't you? You first. No, you first. Huh. Huh. All right. Then let's say that loser of the final round has to apologize first. You've got yourself a deal. Not like I'm going to lose the final round. Huh? The, the final round? What are you talking about? I've only fought once. As clueless as ever, I see. Didn't you hear? The other girls got scared after watching the first battle and went home. Fools. What did they think this was? A beauty contest? I didn't bring those machine guns and rocket launchers for looks. Well, I'll see you in the Coliseum. Ta-ta! Rocket launchers? Jeez, what does she think this was? Or something. <clears throat> is this what becoming the Prince's Bride is all about? Thank you for waiting. The final of the second round will now begin. All remaining contestants, please report to the waiting room. I think you mean just me, because the toilet's not going to be there, so... Are you sure you want to go through with that? Follow me. Man, if Cornette wasn't here, um, it totally would have just won by default, huh? Due to the fact the majority of contestants did not want to participate in this part of the competition, the next match will be the final round of this round. Fight! In the blue corner, weighing it at a petite. 90 pounds, Atole of Mother Green. In the red corner, weighing in at a slightly chubby 100, motherfucker, Cornet of Orange Village. Hey, she's in the finalist. But, hmm, pretty sure I've met her somewhere before. I just can't put my finger on it. Man, 100's not even that, like, heavy. It's, like, really light. I like chubby girls anyway. Fight it out! Oh. 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 God damn it, I'm gonna fucking repair that, you know. No. Reward. Pancake! Oh, I lose. Okay. Wow. Does Egg actually have really high defense? Wow, Egg is just stalling right now. doesn't seem like a you win fight unless it was and I just fucked up oh you're better than I thought Cornette you never failed to surprise me hey you psychopath are you trying to kill me where did you get all those weapons from stuff like that doesn't matter Cornette how did I beat you do you believe the me that's stronger or faster matters in the first place is that the reason if that's what you're thinking you're dead wrong it's because you've lost something important when you're going through rough times, who are you usually with? See, that's what I thought. Why I help you is beyond me. You never know how much someone means to you until they're gone. That's why I beat you. For once in her life, she's actually right. Kururu was always with me at times like this. I've taken her for granted. I've forgotten how important she is to me. How stupid. I'm sorry, Kururu. And the winner is Marauder of Mother Green, Estole Rosen Queen. Oh shit. Cornette, Cornette. Kudu do. I'm glad you're okay. I thought. I thought I could do everything by myself. I thought I was able to become who I am with my hard work alone, but. 
but all this time, day in, day out, you've been watching over me. I know you're the only one who would put up with me. Kururu, thank you. Kunat, it's alright. I know it's in your heart, even if you don't say it. Kururu. Hey lady, what you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna speak off. We will now begin the third round. Contestants, please report to the waiting room. Is this one leadership? There was like a, a, a leadership, a fighting, a dress one, and then the last one singing, right? Cornette, are you okay? I'm all right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, third round. Oh, third and final round. Okay, I guess we're just singing then. This is it, Cornette. It's time to do or die. Good luck, Cornette. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Do 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 So you two are the finalists. Can't wait to see you uh, how you two express your feelings through your songs. Let the final round begin. I feel like she really doesn't need to come all the way out to say that, but. You remember your promise, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, get on with it. If you don't have all day, sing the song for Kururu. I will. I will, but... Oh, jeez. Come on, everyone's waiting. All right, all right. You're next, though. How do I know? Just go, okay? You're such a lucky girl, that's what they always say. Rich and beautiful and bright. They don't get to see what's hidden deep inside. So, I feel all alone. They keep telling me, my life is so grand. I may act as if I 
Tole. I... I thought you hated me. No, I was just... I, I just did it because I made a promise to Cornette. But Tole and Cornette... You both sang beautifully. Those songs are definitely worthy of the final round of the competition. This contest has been... I had a number of unexpected events. So why don't we have two winners? How does everyone feel about that? Huh? What? That means... You won! You actually did it! You're now a candidate to be the prince's bride. Really? Yeah! Doo -doo. Uh, what? Thank you. Ah, quit it. You're making me blush. So, you're being honest now, huh, Carnet? <laughs> you too, Atole. Atole? But, how could the queen pick two winners? We all know that I should have been the only winner. Ah, uh, never change. Well, you two should work together because... You're going to need all the help you can get. <laughs> Congratulations, you two. That was a great contest. Both of you qualify for the title of Miss Marl's Kingdom. Thank you. I'm so honored to hear those words from the first Miss Marl's Kingdom. Will you two be able to participate in the party next week? Of course, your highness. How about you? Who? M me? Uh, of course. I'm glad to hear that. I'm looking forward to seeing you both there. <laughs> <laughs> that cornet girl is funny. Um, Atole, what's this party about? Huh? You don't know? There's a birthday party for the ne for the prince next week. The winner of the contest is going to dance with the prince. Dance? I need to get a new dress. <laughs> oh, Cornette, what are we going to do with you? Don't you know anything? You're supposed to wear the con the costume you wore during the contest. <laughs> huh? But that means... That means you're going to have to wear that costume again. Didn't you read the fine print in the form of the contest? I was reading it before someone took it away. Ah, kudadu. Can I have a word with you? <laughs> I... Didn't I tell you? No, you didn't tell me. Cornette. Wake up, Cornette. Hmm, I guess she's tired. The prince's birthday party's today. I guess she was too excited to sleep last night. Come on, Cornette, wake up already. Hmm. Oh, good morning, Kududu. Come on! We'll be late for the party. Let's go! You're right. We better hurry. Uh, Cornette? Don't you think you still need to change your new pajamas? <laughs> Alright. Well. That was different. Thank God. Oh my God. If my puppets were actually broke, I was going to be kind of upset. We will save here. <clears throat> Done. All right. All right, everyone. Well, I think that'll about wrap us up for today. We went over a little bit, but you know that's that's fine. It's a okay. So let's just go back here. All right. Ugh. Well, everyone. I like that so far. It was pretty great, and uh, it, it seems. Like, I looked it up, because I had a couple of things that we were gonna, that I was gonna plan on doing. And, uh, it seems that the game's only, like, eight hours, or, like, eight to ten hours, depending upon if you, you do everything, and yada, 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 yada. Um, so we're looking at about maybe five streams of that, and then we'll be done with it. So, yeah. I'm having a fun time with it. Um, I will say, I can understand now why, uh, the streamer I was watching said that it makes you cry because the song thing there at the contest was a little bit of a tearjerker. So if they get fucking even like crazier shit happening afterwards, 
It might, uh, actually bring a tear to my eye. Hmm. Yes, quite. Anyway, everyone, uh, if you missed anything, this VOD will be up on uh, YouTube at youtube.com slash plaguenshiki. You can follow me on Twitter at youtube or twitter.com slash plaguenshiki and uh, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> For now, that'll be all. So, yeah. I'm just going to uh, do this raid thing, and uh, we'll go raid Leaflet, the person who actually uh, said something about this game. And uh, she's great. She's a slime girl VTuber, and uh, <clears throat> she's very great. She talks a lot about D&D, &D, and um, is a huge nerd, which is always great. And she's funny. So uh, have fun. Bye-bye for now, everyone. Ta-ta. God, that's...